what's happening in the, in the, in the U.S. should be an eye-opener and a wake-up call that uh, the challenges that in the United States are no different from the challenges that leadership in Africa uh, uh, face. And, they, uh, and therefore, uh, when we keep criticizing African leaders continuously, as if they're monstrous, as if they're, 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 you know, they're, not, they're not humans, then you should realize, oh, the other guys also have the, the similar problem. First of all, we, Uganda needs, uh, 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 and on which we've been fortunate all these years, a president that respects the independence and the integrity of the uh, people of Uganda and the leadership of, of, of Uganda, and a leadership that uh, does everything possible to make sure that we are treated equals. Mm -hmm. we, not, we might not be equals in, in, uh, in terms of uh, military power, uh, financial power, but give us the respect that, that is due. This is what we want from uh, any leadership that comes to the United States. What we do not want from any leadership that comes to the United States is a leadership that comes to impose American values, impose their ways of life, and give us lectures on, on issues that we, as a country, believe in, and, and, and endeavor to ensure that the th things of the human rights, uh, which we believe in and we think is uh, the underlying principle of managing governments. Kill! Stop the kill! Stop the kill! My friends, I'm confident we'll emerge victorious.